the shoulder rock. I uh, love doing a shoulder rock because here using this, it retrains and improves shoulder and scap mobility. Also not to mention, you know, with if you notice the way the, the shoulder rock implement uh, carries you, it teaches you spinal stability as well. Now here we have the overhead press. Uh, there's nothing like this classic exercise to get you strong and stable. Now pressing overhead, obviously you'll need to have the shoulder mobility requirements to press up overhead in straight line, but uh, because of the axial load or the downward pressure, you're gonna have to be stable. Now, another alternative is to do the Arnold press. Now, the Arnold press without back support is killer for trying to regain or retrain or train spinal stabilization. Uh, oftentimes, we've seen a lot of people press up against the bench for that back support. Remove the back support and try it then. I really like doing the shoulder wise for scap stabilization um, and postural uh, correction. Now, by doing it in a Y fashion with the thumbs up, incorporates more serratus as well as lower trapezius. Now, this exercise here, the upright row, and I've had to learn the hard way uh, because I've used it many times but uh, many uh, physios and athletic therapists will use uh, an impediment test that's very similar to the upright row. So for anybody to use this exercise as uh, a shoulder builder is beyond me. And here we have another rehab test uh, for supraspinatus injuries. Uh, the empty can of this I have, was introduced to me when I was going through school and uh, you know did I use it no I thought it was dumb and here is uh, external rotation and I think that this is a dumb exercise here because you're not actually using gravity against external rotation you're just using gravity for a uh, isometric bicep curl hold <laughs> 